It's chaos. Mathematics is not ready for this problem, but are you? Ready? If you have an even number, cut it in half. If you have an odd number, triple it and add 1. This is simple. Let's try with 3. 9 plus 1 is 10. Next is 5. 15 plus 1 is 16. 8, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1. It looks like it loops between 4, 2, and 1. What about 9? 27 plus 1 is 28. 14, 7. 21 plus 1 is 22. 11. 33 plus 1 is 34. 17. 51 plus 1 is 52. 26. 13. 39 plus 1 is 40. 20. 10. We already reached 10 with the other one, so we know how the rest play out. That was quite a bit longer. I wonder if you will always end up with 1 no matter where you start. Let's try 21. 63 plus 1 is 64. 32. 16. 8. 4. 2. 1. That was really quick, even though the starting number was larger. You can't predict how the sequence is going to turn out based on the previous numbers. It is chaotic, but it is not random, since it is based on a defined rule. If you start at the same number, you will always get the same sequence. Chaos is when the past predicts the future, but an approximate past does not predict an approximate future. Starting at 27 gives the sequence 111 steps long, reaching 9,232 before falling back down. For starts up to 100, the steps fluctuate between about 100 and below 40 for seemingly no reason. Despite the chaotic nature of the sequence, all numbers below a quintillion have been confirmed to reach 1. But even this is not enough to prove that it holds for all numbers. It turns out proving things in math is challenging. You can disprove something with one counterexample no matter how many examples support it. You have to look for cases where the sequence does not get to 1. Either there can be another cycle like 4 to 1 but with other numbers, or a sequence can just keep getting bigger to infinity. Try some numbers yourself and tell me if you find any interesting sequences. Any number you could do by hand will reach 1, but at the same time, we have yet to be able to prove it. If you like this video, you might like my Monty Hall problem video, where you get to click and choose which door has a prize, and whether you should switch your decision. You can also check out my other channel for videos about other topics. Thanks for watching!